Welcome back to Mallory Park. It's Thundersport GB. It's the LMB Street Fighters up next and Steve's waiting for them on the grid. Defending Street Fighter B champion Barry Utting has got himself on pole position here at Mallory Park today, looking to outdo Keith Smith, who's supposed to be lining up here. Not sure how uh, Keith will cope with the conditions. Here he is. Street Fighter A championship leader. It's one of those rare occurrences today where we have all three classes on the front row. Brad Davey here, number 14, Street Fighter C, third on the grid. And then we've got Sean Goldsmith, last year's Street Fighter C champion, on the outside of the front row on his MV, Augusta. Thanks very much, Steve. Yes, a brilliant uh, pole position by Barry Arting. Uh, superb to get that uh, Class B machine on pole. But Brad Davey, I think it just about trumps him. Getting a Street Fighter C on that front row of the grid is a really excellent performance. As the lights go out on the second row, we have Mick Riddle, uh, Chris Dixon, Mick Everett, and Tony Hughes, but they pile into Gerard. Good to see Mick Riddle up there too, Steve. He's one of our serving members of Her Majesty's Forces. He's in the RAF, and he's just come back from a tour of duty. He's never going to be there, I don't think, at the championship points because he keeps being taken away for his work job. But uh, great to see him back up there and in such a good qualifying position. Yes, uh, Mick, number 44 on the green Kawasaki, street fighter there, back from Italy. Got a nice tan and uh, I'm sure he'll be looking forward to getting himself on the podium. It's Keith Smith that leads, number 40 from 52. Sean Goldsmith, Barry Utting, number 33rd, ahead of Riddle. And uh, just behind him, I think it's Chris Dixon, yeah, is it? I think moved it is up Chris there. Dixon, yeah. Uh, his first ever attempt at uh, street fighters was only a couple of weeks ago back at Cavill Park, and he looked so very promising there, but he's been absolutely splendid here at Mallory after a good qualifying, but Mr. Potato Head across the line. Smithy leads it from Barry Atting and that MV Augusta of Sean Goldsmith in third place. Yes, Chris, Chris Dixon came over with Dave Milling from the GP1 class to race in this Street Fight. There's no Dave Milling here this weekend, so Chris Dixon's turn it is then with the orange vest on to see if he can get himself up there. We've not really seen many challengers to the A, B and C championship leaders this season. Smith oh, oh massive high side there oh. from Barry Atting. Oh, oh dear, that's Barry. a terrible accident. He that really is. Do you know, he nearly saved that, but he came down and he clicked the track with his helmet. And I'm not surprised. Red flags out, and they've called that one to a halt. That was so unfortunate. Here comes Barry. Look, gets well out of shape, but uh, old stager that he is, he's got so much experience, he nearly saves it, and then it all goes horribly wrong. Well, the marshal's just checking the track there. We will rerun the race, and the good news from the medical centre is that Barry is OK. Just knocked himself out for a bit. But uh, Smithy just passing the time before the second start on the grid. Oh, he's got some hair at last. Uh, was it you that said that you picked up a Mr Potato Head abroad with an Elvis head off? It, I picked it up from Graceland itself. Uh, my goodness, that is a lousy impression, isn't it? Uh, there we are then, uh, a rerun of the LMB Street Fighters. Sadly, Barry Arty will have to sit this one out. He gave himself a bit of a biff, but glad to say that he is uh, as OK as could be expected after that uh, horrible down there at Edwina's. Well, the LMB Street Fighters underway then for the second time. And once again, Elvis Potato Head gets out in the lead. Smithy leads it from the off, and there we see uh, the number seven machine of Duncan McMillan, Street Fighter C. Yeah, the Street Fighter C's there all just uh, together on the exit of Gerrard's, but at the front it is Smithy from Dixon who's got a better start this time. And uh, as they make their way into Edwina, Sean Goldsmith just slings it up the inside of Dixon to move up into second position overall and second in the Street Fighter 8. It's a good old battle there and Mick Riddle tucks in behind them in fourth place, not that far back. And of course with uh, Barry Outing unfortunately having to sit this one out, that means uh, Mick Riddle will be the leading Street Fighter B runner out there. There he is, Kawasaki going around Sean's hairpin in fourth. Yes, uh, Street Fighter C championship leader Tony Hughes just at the moment being uh, held back by number six, Gary Coombs. Yes, he's having a little battle down there, and it's Brad Davey who leads Street Fighter C. He's right up there after that qualifying. There he is chasing into Gerrard's. There behind, we see Tony Hughes. Yes, you're right, Steve. He's really bottled up at the moment, isn't he, Tony? You, you know he's going to be there or there somewhere, there or thereabouts at the end of this, but uh, struggling at the moment, I think, to find a way past. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll be... Uh, few battles there going back in the Street Fighter Seas, but all a little bit of a wobble there from Sean Goldsmith as he exits the chicane, and that's given maybe a little bit of hope to Chris Dixon. No, Goldsmith remains in second position behind 
uh, Keith Smith. Mick Riddle doing a good job with his B machine to try and keep up with these A's. Yep. Well, uh, Mallory Park, of course, uh, not the longest lap, about 1.3 miles, has lots of twisty bits, but it's got an incredible flow to it as well, hasn't it? Which does suit having a little more power. If you can get it right around Gerrard's, it's really, you can carry that speed all the way around, then down the Stevie straight. It is very quick indeed over the lap. Yeah, I think that was proved by uh, Street by the Sea being on the front row as well. Um, considerably down on power, those Supermoto star machines. It's the first time I've seen a Supermoto bike on the front row, I think since Christian Iden where we went out to play very first race here at Valerie Park in 2008. Meanwhile, though, at four years on, here we have uh, Keith Smith leading the Street Fighter A's and uh, shots there of Mick Riddle, current Street Fighter B leader. Well, there, oh, the MV Augusta of Sean Goldsmith nearly, well, it was momentarily, wasn't it, into the lead, but he takes a very wide line around uh, Shaw's and Keith Smith says, thanks, I'll have that back, mate, but Chris Dixon, very racy there in third place, Steve. Yes, uh, well, Sean Goldsmith there, a little bit of wild into uh, the hairpin, and he re managed to regain the position again. But Chris Dixon, as you mentioned, with the novice jacket on, uh, looking everything but a novice at the moment, really does look impressive in third position. Mick Riddle there, number 44, the Royal Air Force rider, doing very well, though, to keep up with these. And, uh, well, with no barriotting, that does leave him out as a clear leader of the B-Class overall. Yes, I think Barry Rudge is currently uh, down there, I think around about 12th or 13th, second in Class B. And Rob Pragnall having a good old uh, battle with him and with Martin Smith. So they're going to be the rest of the podium, but uh, the moment Mick Riddle looking very comfortable in B. That's Keith Smith looking anything but comfortable up the top end of things as uh, Sean Goldsmith gets the better of him at the front. Yeah, there's Mick Everett just ahead of Steve Bradbury, Duncan McMillan and Gary Coombs all having uh, a bit of fun through Shaw's hairpin and into the bus stop. He's chucking these big bikes around. Uh, the last lap flag is out and uh, on this glorious sunny day here at Mallory Park. Oh, well, what's happened there? Chris Dixon, out of nowhere, has managed to get up into first. So I don't know if there's been an incident between Keith Smith and and Sean Goldsmith, but Dixon from nowhere has gone from third to first. Yeah, I think uh, probably a schmozzle between uh, the two of them has allowed Chris Dixon through. This is a little way back when we saw him go through the bus stop, but there we are. It is Dixon from Smith and Goldsmith as they come to the flag, and that is an excellent maiden win in the LMB Street Fighters for Chris Dixon, getting the best of uh, Keith Smith and Sean Goldsmith there in Street Fighter A and of course overall Mick Riddle picks up the Street Fighter B win and fourth place and Brad Davies stays at the top of Street Fighter C ahead of Tony Hughes. There we see Chris Dixon, Keith Smith and Sean Goldsmith on the overall podium and Street Fighter A podium. Then in Street Fighter B we see Mick Riddle, Barry Rudge and Rob Pragnall, that's the one, two, three. And in Street Fighter C, the winner, Brad Davey, with Tony Hughes and Mick Everett. Street Fighter C winner, Brad Davey. Uh, hot stuff out there. Certainly was, yeah. Too hot. <laughs> You're racing out there with Tony Hughes. He's uh, blasting away with the championship at the moment, but it must give you some hope getting uh, a win off him. Yes, it certainly is. I mean, there's not a lot I can say, really. He's just a bit too good for me at the moment, but it's coming together now. Anyone to thank? Uh, yeah, Rob at Racing Line for setting up the suspension, uh, all the guys at Race Spec and uh, everybody else really at Thundersport for being brilliant lads. All right, well done to you, Brad. We're going to move over to Street Fighter B winner Mick Riddle. Mick, good to have you back with us and uh, a win there. Obviously, uh, we send our regards to Barry Utting and hopefully everything's all right, but it's nice to be on the top step. It is, yeah, but I'd much prefer to have Barry here in second place and being in fair and square, but I hope he's OK. Uh, anyone to thank at all, because uh, it's good to have you on the top step. Yeah, I'd like to thank the RAF Motorsport Association and Christine from Cougar Levers, um, from the Levers, and my wife Tori for all the support she gives me every meeting. <laughs> well done to you, Mick. Great to have you up here. We move on to the race winner. Uh, Mr Dixon, great result. Uh, you've been beating everyone with, a, with an orange jacket on. How's it feel? Excellent. It's been a good weekend all time. Uh, first yesterday in the wet race. I just had to put it together today and get back in front. Did you know how close they were behind you towards the end? No idea at all. I had a big moment coming, out, coming through the S's and I just put my head down and fought Gaffney. 
And anyone to thank at all? Uh, Pete Kerr for this way again, Smegan, Pete. Uh, big thanks to Dave Millen. I wouldn't be able to do this without him. Thanks. All right, well done to you, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, Bob. Thank you.